Here's a great Bible question. Can we say with confidence we know the real author of any of the books of the Hebrew Bible or Old Testament? That's a very thoughtful question. I think our best candidate for an answer to this question, where we actually know the name and something of the biography of the person who's composing the text in the Bible, as opposed to just like a vague century when they might have lived in like a generic ideological perspective that they might be writing from, which is something that we can say about a lot more books, but we have like a name and some stuff about this person. I think that book would probably have to be Nehemiah. Uh, and I think that's due in no small part to the fact that substantial parts of Nehemiah, like scribal lists and obvious additions aside, a substantial chunk of Nehemiah is a pretty straightforward first-person prose memoir that recounting actual events that appear with a great degree of historical verisimilitude to have been experienced by this dude named Nehemiah. He's in a position to write. He's got all the reason in the world to write, and it makes everything that he writes make sense. Even some of the specific details of Nehemiah's narrative have been confirmed with extra-biblical evidence from the Elephantine Papyri, which is a collection of hundreds, if not thousands, of texts that were discovered at a fortress in Egypt um, that corresponded with the people in Jerusalem on a number of occasions about uh, a handful of issues. There are a number of biblical scholars who would put Ezra in sort of the same category as Nehemiah. Uh, there are memoir-like parts of his narrative too, though far fewer than there are in Nehemiah, and so that gets some pushback from some other biblical scholars. Amos and Hosea might be close. Um, you can certainly argue that Amos and Hosea didn't actually compose their texts, I think due in no small part to the fact that as far as these prophetic figures are concerned, it generally seems to be the case that it wasn't them who were doing the writing, but rather like disciples of theirs who are recording some of their more famous sayings. So there's a bit of ambiguity there in the actual gap between original spoken oracle and their composition in the form of texts. And that's kind of similar with the other minor prophets. Like you can argue that other minor prophets like weren't written by the name on them. Um, that works more for some than for others, like Jonah. Like, nobody named Jonah wrote the text of Jonah. It's a piece of satire. But, like, for some of the other ones, there's just, there's, like, no real reason to disagree. Like, did Habakkuk write Habakkuk? Well, besides the fact that it's a ridiculous-sounding name, like, there's just, there's just, there's not really a reason to argue otherwise. Or Obadiah, did Obadiah write? Like, why, why would we even bother arguing about it? We know it, 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 it admits nothing because we know nothing about the character to say that Obadiah wrote Obadiah. But off the top of my head, I, th I think that's it. I mean, most of the other major texts in the Hebrew Bible or Old Testament um, are largely anonymous and are held to be anonymous by the vast majority of biblical scholars. The Pentateuch is often assumed to be written by Moses. Nobody, no mainstream biblical scholar thinks it was written by Moses. Um, at best, we can give, you know, letters like we do in, in, in source criticism or tradition criticism. It was written by J, E, D, and P or something like that. Um, at best, you might be able to group the next historical texts like Joshua Judges, Samuel and Kings. You might be able to attribute the final composition of those texts, the final form of those texts, to the Deuteronomistic historian, uh, which is a figure that comes up sometimes in talking about the compositional history of these texts. That's probably a dude or a small group of dudes, um, but we don't know their name and, and we know very little uh, about them besides that. It's, they're, they're primarily hypothetical to help explain uh, the editorial history of, of these texts, rather than us knowing anything in uh, in particular about them. It's certainly possible, likely even, that there were actual prophets named Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, who either wrote or spoke and had their writings, uh, had their spoken words recorded by disciples of varying kinds, um, and that led to the com at least to some part of the composition of those texts, but all those texts, as I talked about in this earlier video, have then been edited and added to and supplemented and redacted in all sorts of different ways down through uh, the ages, such that it's very difficult to like know to what degree an original author might have, you know, how much they are really responsible for the final form of the text. It's a great question though, and we're thinking about, thanks for asking.